Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel at Sadia's Finances. My name is Sadia and here on YouTube I talk all things about my financial journey such as budgeting, weekly check-ins, investments, savings, sinking funds, etc. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for all the support and leaving comments on my channel, liking my videos, etc. If you're new to my channel, why don't you just subscribe down below. So, can't believe it's like towards the end of October, like I'm pretty sure I say this in like all my videos, like the whole year has just gone so quick. But I'm really happy with the progress that I've been making with my sinking funds. So let's see whether I can get any more fully funded. Um, I'm going to be splitting some money between both my sinking funds and saving challenges. But before we do that, let's see how much we've got here. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. So I'm just going to put this here, let me just move some things around. Might as well get myself organised. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400. And 5 and 10, that's 410 pounds, which is decent amount. And you can see that all in the video. So the first um, thing I'm going to do is my sinking funds. So let me just sort this out. I'm only stuffing a few sinking funds, not all of them. So the first one that is going to be car insurance. I'm going to put stuff in £50. Pounds. So that's £20, £40, £50. Pounds. So... Pretty sure I currently have a hundred in here. Yeah. Let me just sort that out. So 50, 100, 20, 40, 50. So that's 150 in here, which is a decent amount. Um, I think I need about 600 pounds, roughly. And then this one should be um, fully funded. The slips at the back, I usually do them in my own time. Otherwise, the video would be so long, and my usually my um, sinking fund videos are quite long anyway. Car maintenance is also going to get fifty pounds. That's twenty, forty, fifty pounds. So let's see how much we have here. Hundred pounds, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty. That's two hundred eighty pounds roughly. Yeah, that's one hundred, two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, seventy, eighty, yeah, two hundred and eighty, which is a good amount. Um this one I do think to have a thousand pounds, but even if it's less than that, I'm not really too bothered. Um I think even having five hundred pounds is enough. I do need to get like my brake pads done and so yeah, so I'm going to try and, um, what do you call it, fund this as much as I can. Car tax is fully funded, I need to get like a Sharpie and um, just write on that. Um, closing, is closing going to get anything? Um, no it isn't, I did say I wanted to put some money into it, but maybe... Maybe I left it for a reason. I can't remember. Oh well, if I need something for closing, I'll just get it. I might change this wallet around in the future. It might go into my like um, everyday binder, but we'll see. Gifts is getting nothing. Um, I'm just using money from my um, salary for the budgeting side of things, and gifts is going to go in there. And I think um, is it next month? Yeah, from next month I should start uh, funding this. Because then the next birthday I have is January and um, February. And then I'm free until July, August, and then September, October, November. So my like my family's birthdays are towards the end of the year. So yeah. Other is getting nothing. To be honest, yeah, other, I don't really even need this wallet in here anymore. But I'm going to sort my binders out at some point And this will go somewhere else. Holiday is going to get £50 and I've got my um, planning with Ella 
um, holiday savings so I'm going to stuff £50 and I need a pen so where is my pen mm -mm -mm. I'm just going to use this one here not my usual pen but this should do me fine I'm just going to cross this off and it's nice to see, see myself um, funding this again that's 20 40 50 pounds let me just put you here. So I'm just starting my holiday fund again, because why not? House insurance is really funded. And jewellery, I'm just going to leave that alone. Yeah, luxury good is going to get £20. Yeah, £20 should be fine. So there we go, 20 I think I've got some money on my online account. So I've got 190 online um, in my altogether. So I added 20 pounds, that's 190, 200 and about 10 pounds roughly. I don't have all the cash here, so there's no point counting all of this. <laughs> so that's not too bad. It's just sometimes the envelopes get a bit too like full and there's a lot of money at home and I'd rather not have all my cash at home because you never know what can happen. So yeah, so I've put some of them in my Monzo pot once they start getting a bit full. MOT is fully funded, and that's in my Monzo account. Technology is going to get nothing. Treatment is going to get, I think, uh, 50 pounds. Did I agree on 50 pounds? Yeah, I'll just add 50 pounds. So 20, 40, 50 pounds. Let's see how much we got here. I need to start looking at like a dermatologist. I want to get my face checked out. There's some things that like I've got some black broken red veins and there's some things I just want to sort out essentially. So I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with this. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. I guess a good amount as well. So it looks like both my car maintenance and treatments have the same amount of money. So yeah. So I'm gonna like research online and see what I can essentially do. Small business actually should get some bit of money. Um, I'm gonna put ten pounds. I didn't really plan to put anything in, um, but um, I'm just gonna put in ten pounds. And I think that should be good enough. I, and I'm close to reaching 1,000 followers on Instagram. But if I reach that in November, I won't be doing the giveaway in November. I'll just do it in December, essentially, because I'm not planning to budget for it. It depends. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. So, yeah, that's the plan. And I don't think I'll be reaching 250 subscribers within the next month. So maybe December. Who knows? <laughs> I feel like my channel is just a bit progressing a bit slowly. But do you know what? I'd rather have a small channel because it's just easier to reply to everyone. Otherwise, I don't think I would have the time to respond to everyone. But yeah, so I'm just putting £10 in. Five pounds or something there. I'm just giving one £10 note. So I have 20, 30, 40, 45 pounds. Because when I get, reach 1,000 followers on Instagram, I do want to do like a giveaway with like budgeting items. So I'm just going to wait until like December just to do that because November's. Is it going to be a busy month? Yeah-ish, but we'll see. So yeah, won't say too much. <laughs> and so for my Zagat Sinking Fund, I'm doing it a bit differently. I'm also going to be using a saving challenge to go with these sinking funds. So I bought this um, Pop the Rainbow Saving Challenge from the Budgeting Bear. How cute is this? I love the look of this and I love the donations um, used as well because it's just easier in my opinion. So with this saving challenge, I sent you should be able to save £1,000. Obviously, I do need a bit more than £1,000 for the sinking fund, but this would be um, very useful. I've coloured in some of the numbers already. I've already coloured in a bit extra that I was trying to put in, but I changed the amount of, num the amount of money I'm going to put into this um, sinking fund. So let's see how much I'm going to put in. That's 20, 40, 60, 70, 80 pounds. 
So let me just colour this in first. So I've already coloured in 50 pounds and I'm going to colour it in 30 pounds essentially. So let me get my colours already. That's 10 pounds here. Um, if you want to skip this bit you can do so. <laughs> I'm not too bothered um, but I just wanted to colour it in with you guys here. Let me know in the comments below um, how you're thinking friends and saving challenges are coming along, whether you're going to do anything different with your challenges and um, I just love seeing everyone's like channels and the way they budget, the way they put money towards a sinking fund, saving challenges, whether they use different like snowball methods etc. So it's nice seeing how everyone like progresses with their uh, financial journey. Also, um, I've been lately following so many channels here on YouTube, there's been so many like new channels. If you do have a YouTube channel, um, let me know in the comment below because if, if I'm not aware of your channel, then obviously I'm not probably subscribed to it. So let me know and then I'll subscribe and start watching the content that you upload. So yeah, this is just so nice colouring these balloons in. Just so pretty. That's done and let's see how much money we've got in here now. So let me just move this to the side. And here we go. I oh, did that a bit wrong. <laughs> okay. So 50, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60. So 260, this is slowly building up. I think I need like about 1600 pounds by April. So I need to kind of focus on this a bit more, but we will we'll see in the next month or so. I know next month the plan is to put quite a bit into my sinking fund, so I might just have to fund this quite a bit. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for sinking funds. So it's roughly about £310 stuffed in my sinking funds, which is a decent amount of money going into my sinking funds. So let me just put that behind us aside and let's see how much money we have left over. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, £100. So this is what I expected to be left over, which is a decent amount. I'm just going to put these here. Do you know what? I really need to get that cash tray. <laughs> this way I wouldn't have to fiddle around with getting this kind of perfect. Not that it needs to be perfect, but I just like it being perfect. Okay, so saving challenges. Here I come. There's some bits at the end, like any new challenges that are personal purchased recently here that you might not have seen in my like previous video I'll show it towards the end so to stay tuned until the end as well <laughs> so let's get into this so the first one is I'm going to start doing this rainy fund next year so we'll see what will happen I think I've said so many times now <laughs> um, the emergency fund is going to get £20 as always, so I'm just going to use a £20 note. What's that there? Some. Yeah. So roughly, I think I have £100 in here now. Yeah. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So yeah. I'm going to cut that in later. It's just, I find it, it's always like transfers onto other things, um, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> That's £20 in there. Mini saving challenge. Let's see how much I'm going to put in. Um, I'm going to put in 5, 10, 15, 20, um, mm, 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 mm. this is about like planning in advance sometimes just so I know what the numbers are putting in because making decisions on the whim I'm not always that great at, um, I'm going to put in 35 pounds, yeah. So I'm just going to colour this £20 in, 20, 10, and then 5, so that's £35 being in here. Um, once I'm done with the video, I'll colour it in properly. I like doing that in my own time sometimes, <laughs> rather than like rush it um, with you guys, just seeing. 
No, no, I think you would guys mind it would mind anyway. That's 20, 30, 30. I'm gonna actually put this in the way if I find notes in there. So let me just take this out. I'm not gonna count this money, it's here for a reason. I'm gonna count once it's fully funded, then I'll count it. But it's just it's just really nice doing this challenge, so yeah. And in the future, it's where I'm going to put like any small like saving challenges in, like it's just easier to deal with. And it's, I need this for, no, not November, December, um, I'm going to, what do you call it, purchase some planner bits and I'm going to use this money for that. Summer is getting nothing, um, yeah, I'm not going to put anything in here. Birthday. So this is a saving challenge that I created and you've seen this already. I coloured it in off um, line um, when I wasn't doing my video. I'll stop rambling on. <laughs> um, so I've got £10. I'm just going to put another £10 in my birthday. So that's £20 in here. £10, 20 So I'll go here. Capture wardrobe is getting nothing. Save, this is gonna start next year as well, so I can't wait to start this. Perfume is going to get five pounds. So I've got 10 pounds, uh, it's 15 pounds in here. It's decent. Beauty is going to get, should I put 10 pounds in there? Actually, what I might do is take. Oh, I've only got a five pound note. Where is it? Where is it? I can take some five pound notes. Probably just take some five pound notes here. That's Ten pounds. I'm just going to sort this around. So beauty, it was also going to just get five pounds. So I currently have in here 10, 15 pounds, which is decent. A decent amount. Kitchen is getting nothing. Furniture is getting nothing. And the rest aren't challenges that I'm just planning to do just yet. So how much money have I got left over? 10, 20, 25 pounds. Um, mm, should I put another in birthday? I'll put ten pounds in another ten pounds in birthdays, so I should have thirty pounds in here now. Yeah, so ten, twenty, thirty pounds. It's decent. Stuffing up for stuffing it for my birthday. Someone's getting nothing. Mini savings. Hmm. Yeah. Do you know what? I'll just do mini savings. Why not? So that's fifteen pounds left over. So I'm gonna do five, ten, which is decent. Can't wait to finish this challenge and see how much money I've essentially saved up from this challenge. It's going to be very nice and surprising at the end. <laughs> okay, so that's that's completed so I'll show you some of the extra saving challenges that I got this month um, a new one that I don't think you've seen just yet um, is this one here so this is the gold rush um, saving challenge and that's also from the budgeting bear so it's save hundred pound um, obviously I do get a lot of change left over from my cash envelopes so I thought next year I'll start on this as well and then alongside that, I received these little um, Halloween um, saving challenges. One is um, from the Budgeting Bear and one is from Didi and Louise. I'll leave the information down below. And it's just a collaboration in October and these are some extra challenges. These I'm going to keep until next year to use in October time. So yeah, I'm going to keep these nice ones here. So at the moment, any savings, any saving challenges that I don't use, just go in here and then when the time is right, I'll start using them. And then I also purchased 
this month the saving challenge saving challenge book from what if i fly 17 and it has so many challenges and i can't wait to use this i will be using this in with my sinking funds i just think it's just a nice way to track things and just do things or I might do something separately i'm not sure yet but um it's just something nice to do and why not i might keep it separate i'm not sure I'll, I'll just have to see but i think it's just something fun to do and the moment i saw saw it and someone's um budgeting with kerry's um youtube channel i was like i have to get this and i'm glad i did <laughs> So let's put this aside here. So that's going to be used in 2023. And also I'm just planning to use all of these um, challenges next year as well. I think I'm going to create myself, not create myself, I'm going to purchase like a treat yourself wallet. Or I might use my other wallet for this. But I think treat yourself wallet might be like, would be nice. So we'll see about that. And there's a few more things that I need to show you before we go elsewhere. So I also purchased this um, 2K um, challenge from Iris Budgets and I just love it so much. It's so, so cute. So I'm just going to stay a bit behind the camera so you don't get my reflection. It's just envelopes with the numbers 20, 50, 40 and 100 and that goes all the way through the end and... You just get this little section here and you can just mark it off so i can't wait to start this next year and i'm going to use this for my luxury fund why not it's just going to be so cute and i can't wait to get started on this i feel like i need to get like a bigger box now because not everything not all my binder is uh fitting in that one box that i have and lastly two um amazing quality saving challenges from the abundant budget this is the one come the new one and this is save 100 pounds so i can't wait to start this it's it's so nice i would also love it in like a6 because that would just fit in with my binders but this is just going to be nice i'll be keeping this afterwards and probably i'll probably end up reusing this so once i've scratched it off there's still be numbers underneath and i'll just reuse it and i've got this home sweet honeycomb um save 100 challenge as well love it it's so cute and it's also the scratch and save ones so i can't wait to start this as well so that will be 2023 i'm not sure when and next year i'll use these but yeah <laughs> i'll just use them at some point now let's get into seeing my little excel sheet <laughs> actually before we go i forgot money pot oh, i'm just rushing myself ahead so I've got two pounds, four pounds, five pounds, six pounds, six pounds and ten p. Hmm, I thought I had more change than that. Hopefully no one's taken my change out from here. So let me just put this in. And um, this money box is going to be opened, I think, in December. I don't know when I'm going to open it, but I'm just going to use it to treat myself to some bits and bobs, whether that's like more Etsy stuff <laughs> or... um. I don't know, I think it's just going to be very Etsy stuff. Why not? Okay, now let's get onto the Excel sheet. <laughs> so, this month, I managed to put £500 into my house savings, so I now have £39,048.53p. I've also opened a lifetime ISA, which will be used for my retirement, and I've deposited £55, so at the moment I just have £55. So altogether in my savings I have £41,650 and 24p. You can see the amount that I put into my sinking funds and the amount that I have in my sinking funds as well. So altogether I have £1,625 and 8p into my sinking funds which is a great amount. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have please leave a comment below and like my video and stay tuned for my next couple of videos as well. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.